Good evening, this is Sabrina Summer Kelly coming to you live from Decatur, Georgia with Caribbean Live TV. We are going to bring you another installment of Caribbean Life as we impact lives, as we remind you of the heritage of your culture, our entertainment, food. This installment, I'm talking with an interesting young lady I met quite some time ago. And the topic we're going to be discussing is about genealogy. As you know, many of us are immigrants in this beautiful country of America. And this topic today will shed light on exactly where those genetics and genealogy and lineage comes from. So come on in with me as I chat with Miss Allison Rice today. Hello, Allison. How are Hello. you? Hello. I'm well. Thank you so much for having me. You know, I was just talking about this subject matter. <laughs> I talked about my grandmother being from Barbados, mm -hmm. myself being born in, Amer in, in American Guyana, here yeah. now in America. Yeah. But when I was told who you were, I said, I know that young lady. <laughs> because as you know, we yes. did networking events here in Atlanta. Yes. Yes. And just to see your journey, Allison, and that to say that, you know, coming from corporate America, mm -hmm. being in business, mm -hmm. And now this journey that has got you, you know, on this path. Yes. I'm so proud of you. Thank and to you. see you, you've pretty much remained the course. And as mm -hmm. I always say, we keep evolving in everything yes. that we do. Yes. So I'm excited to talk to you about this matter <laughs> and, and even what got you started. So mm -hmm. first of all, I want to acknowledge your lapel. As you can see, it says <laughs> Trinidad and yes. Tobago. That's where she's from. Yes, that's where I was so born. So tell us about who Allison is. Okay, well, I'm Allison Rice, and I'm from Trinidad, and I am my family's historian. Mm. So I've been working on my family tree for 10 years now, so yeah. this year is my 10-year anniversary, and I'm Good extremely night. excited about that. Now, you said a word, historian. Yes. yes. And when, again, when I heard of this interview I will be doing mm. with you, I thought about Lewis Henry Gates. If you know him, yes. he does the PBS yes. genealogy. Yes. And I said, to even hear your name in the same breath as him mm -hmm. was even profound <laughs> and, and just proud. Mm -hmm. And to even figure out why you wanted to do something like that. Because a lot mm -hmm. of us, we want to know. I yes. want to know. So as we were talking, mm -hmm. you um, let's talk a little bit more before we get into that. Though. I okay. mean, you're here in Atlanta, Georgia. You've yes. been here. How long you've been here? Um, I've been here since uh, 2008. Okay. Yes. Right. What so brought you? Um, family. A lot of family, family live here. Mm -hmm. So um, right. we just moved with the family. So yes. it started in Trinidad. They moved to New York. And yeah. then we moved along to New York as well. And yeah. they moved to Atlanta. And, yeah. you know, so. Started a life, huh? Yes. Yes. Right, and then we always say we're still born journey, yes. or born Guyanese, <laughs> yes. but we come here for better life yes. and to see what America has to offer, yes. most of us do. Mm -hmm. And so you've, you've been in high school here, you grew up? Yes, so, I, yeah. I actually moved to the United States on my sixth birthday. Oh, yes. wonderful. So, so you've been here. Yes, I've been here. <laughs> yeah, yes. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Yes, yes. did we all? Yes. <laughs> Same, same here, yeah. you know, and then here we are in, in Atlanta mm -hmm. and, and continue on with our lives. Yes. Family, have children, husband, anything? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You're yes. still very young. Oh, yes. Live your life. <laughs> yes. Live your life. I'm definitely doing yes. that. Yes, yes. And you're, mm -hmm. and I, I, you know, again, I, Allison, I've been knowing you since I started doing this stuff yes. and to see, again, I, I talk mm -hmm. about evolving in, mm -hmm. in, in, in steps of, of your life that mm -hmm. God gave you. And sometimes you realize uh, what you were here for is not yes. really what you're living. That's so true. I think as you as you engage in, mm -hmm. in this journey that is life you mm -hmm. will see that other things will be calling you yes. right as we know yeah so and we're gonna talk about we're gonna dive into that here in a second so okay. um, historian yes that is a that's that's a word mm -hmm. for somebody like you to even take on right yes. so you didn't even realize you were taking it on no not yeah. at all yeah so not. tell us what made that become a reality for you? Wow. Well, it started when I was uh, 16. Mm -hmm. um, I went to a family reunion mm -hmm. and um, we had a good time. I enjoy seeing family. I had no expectations but to see family and have a good time. Yeah. Um, but one night my, um, my family got together and they built a family tree. They had a huge board and mm -hmm. they just started building branches. Yeah. And then that night it was a huge presentation where one of my uncles, he just started calling the names of all of our ancestors and I was very yeah. excited about it and right. it, it felt really good and then after the family reunion um, 
it seemed like that tree just disappeared. Mm -hmm. No one know, no one knows where it is. No one knew where it went. Mm -hmm. So fast forward, I said, you know what? I want to start a family tree, and I wanted to create a family tree where my entire family would have access to it. Mm -hmm. So you know, thanks to the internet, we have that now. Yes, so I yes. just started building, and yeah. I started calling all of my older family members and mm -hmm. just getting all the information I could possibly get. And ten years later, now I have over a thousand family members on the tree. Now let's talk about our elders in our yes. in our family because you mm -hmm. know some of them are not willing yes. uh, to talk about things and bring up certain things. Yes. Did you go to an elder in your family yes. and maybe with your thoughts and, mm -hmm. and what did they say? Well, at first sometimes, um, especially for elders that did not know me, mm -hmm. I would introduce myself as um, the daughter of so and so, the mm -hmm. granddaughter of so and so, because mm -hmm. a lot of times, you know, with identity theft, people might be saying, right. "Why do you want my name? Why do you want when I was right. born or where I was born?" You know, so mm -hmm. you do see that in the beginning. Yeah. But I mean, what I do is I just try to introduce myself and make sure I let them know mm -hmm. I am, you know, who I am right. and what my intentions are. Right. So I let them know that. Um, I've just been hearing stories of Auntie So and So made mm -hmm. the best pillow. Yes. Auntie So and So made the best callaloo and yes. different things like that. And then no one will know how to make it because, mm. you know, Auntie So and So passed away. Yeah. And those things are gone forever, you right. know. And especially me growing up in the United States and I'm mm -hmm. thinking about the future generation. Mm -hmm. Most likely I will have children here, mm -hmm. you know. So I want them to have something where yeah. we can still hold on to our culture. Right. You know, because right. they have a rich culture and I yeah. want them to know about yeah. it. So. And I I think as and then we'll talk more about children mm -hmm. and yes. all of that where you're coming from and all of that I think mm -hmm. I, I know um, when I thought about this matter I knew I had to get to an elder because they yes. would kind of steer me in the right direction where to even begin the process yes so that's why I asked how did the elder receive that some are not willing to mm -hmm. even bring up um, because of you know maybe some not so good times yes um, but it is good to know and mm -hmm. I think they would cherish and appreciate it when they realize how that can help the entire family and yes. to know where you come from. Yeah. It always goes back to that. So yeah. um, when you were, uh, I believe you you told me you were at an event and, and then you, you, you said you're going to start this process. Yes. Um, mother, of course. Mm -hmm. You have siblings? Yes, okay. I have four siblings. So how did your mother, mm -hmm. um, when you told her, because are both your parents from Trinidad? Well, they, they both grew up in Trinidad. My dad was born in Trinidad, but my mother was born in St. Vincent, but she migrated to Trinidad when now she was see, 10. That's another thing we're going to talk yes. about because yes. that alone, as we all know, goodness, Mm -hmm. We can say, hey, we were born here, but yes. you see how quickly mm -hmm. one of your parents is not even from where you were even born. Yes. So you already yeah. know mm -hmm. where that's going to lead you as yes. you do your search, yes. right? Yes. In terms of lineage. Mm -hmm. My goodness. <laughs> and as we know, mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll even touch on this. Uh, slavery, of course, mm -hmm. is a part, oh, is yeah. a vital, vital uh, oh. piece of this whole mm -hmm. equation as it relates to us and where we're from. Yes. Because it yes. goes back there. Yes. And you, of course, we were dispersed all mm -hmm. Throughout the world, yes. and so even to hear that mm -hmm. one parent is from Trinidad, one from St. Vincent, yes. would already let you know that you're going into to meet mm -hmm. some folks that that is All a part of you. Wow! <laughs> so we're gonna come back, okay? And we're gonna touch on some more things, but mm -hmm. just talking to you alone, I'm getting chills because. I, I know my my folks, Guyanese, yes. Barbados, mm -hmm. East India, mm -hmm. you know, I want to know that. So yeah. it's good to know someone this close to me <laughs> can help me start my journey and yes. my search yes. of where I am from. Mm -hmm. So we're going to come on back. Let's take a commercial break, guys. This is a topic I think many of you will probably say, you know what, I do want to know where I'm from because many of us are scattered all over the place, all over the globe and um, I think Allison's um, journey here is going to help even men families and bring them together um, because it's, it's such a powerful, powerful thing and information we should know exactly who we are. So we're going to come on right back, stay with us and I'll see you in a bit.
Welcome back, welcome back. I'm Sabrina Summer Kelly again. We're talking with Miss Allison Rice from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. And we're talking genealogy today. So um, you're gonna see this full interview if you had missed us on the first, uh, first take. We're going to pick back up where we left off and um, dive in some more with this uh, genetics and lineage and where we come from. So, Allison, we talked about what got you started, resistance, that sort of thing. Yes. Let's talk about benefits. Mm -hmm. who, who, how can someone benefit from them? And of course we know the answer, mm -hmm. but I want you to tell me because of course you are the historian, you did the research, mm -hmm. you know what this can do to families. Oh yeah, uh, there's so many benefits in researching your own family's history. Uh, I can talk about, for me personally, it gave me a sense of pride that I really yes. cannot describe. Mm -hmm. You know, when you learn about where you came from and things that your family members have uh, yes. survived, what yeah. they have accomplished but, you exactly. know and then you start you start finding different people in history that had to do with you yeah. for example um, in my grandmother's documents I actually saw a letter that was written to Shirley Chisholm which was you know she's the first uh, she was the first black um, Congress congresswoman yes. yes and um, she was she had a, some part yeah. in my grandmother getting her paper so that she my can goodness. enter the United States so it's because of Shirley Chisholm and I've learned about her in school but I had no idea well a lot of us you know I remember yeah. we grew up in Brooklyn as well a lot yes. of us when we came here and uh -huh. we didn't hear much about Shirley until I actually like I told you I uh -huh. would go to uh, anything African I wanted mm -hmm. to know what was going on with African and African Americans because you yes. know we Caribbeans come in here yes. we didn't quite understand what oppression and all of those things were so yes. I got intrigued and then mm -hmm. find out this woman is of Caribbean descent yes my yes. gosh so and the word pride yeah I want to touch on that a little bit more mm -hmm. so just that alone mm -hmm. you know people always say oh my family don't have this don't have that yeah but it goes back to genealogy and lineage yes. with yes, pride you know mm -hmm. so that's one of the things I always admire that mm -hmm. to know exactly what I'm a part of yes Yes. yes. So we're going to also touch on Africa. You, you okay. mentioned which, obviously, <laughs> Africa has to be a part of this. Yes. Because that's where we know, mm -hmm. where everything pretty much started. Yes. So what did you find out? Okay, so <laughs> because of the slave trade, you know, a yes. lot of documents were just lost or not exactly. even documented Mended. at all. Yes, yes. So I really wanted to know, you know, what connections I had and my family had to Africa. So yeah. I did turn to genetics, mm -hmm. which, oh my gosh, it was life changing for me, right. you know. And what I did was I took, I took a DNA test and I submitted it to two different companies and I ended up getting back African cousins. Mm. And I reached out to my African cousins who are, you know, f fifth, sixth cousins. Right. I reached out to them and I had conversations with them. And I want to mention one. Yes. He's from Togo. Mm. And we had, the first time we spoke, we spoke for four hours straight. That was not planned at all, but we just spoke for four hours. And he mentioned in his family story, he mentioned that his family moved, um, his family lived um, more Midland in the 1500s and then they moved to the coast around yeah. that time, yeah. right? And then they also, he also mentioned of a woman in his family line way back. And the story in his family was that woman disappeared and she never came back home. They never mm. found her. They don't know what happened to her. And yeah. he said, you know what? I truly believe in talking to you. Mm -hmm. I truly believe deep down in my heart yeah. that she survived. And yeah. I think you could be one of her descendants. My and that goodness. just made me cry. Yeah. And in speaking to him, you know, it made me realize one thing. We think about us and what our ancestors go through, but we didn't think about what they left behind, behind you know the mothers the yeah. fathers the siblings yeah. you know aunts uncles yeah. who they left behind and how did they feel with yeah. their loved ones disappearance yeah. you know so it was just so beautiful you know <laughs> slavery and of course that topic mm -hmm. goes on to infinity because yes there's so much still we don't know mm -hmm. um, and you and I chatted about separation mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to use the word disbursement yes. because they pretty much placed us all over. Mm -hmm. And this journey that you're on, mm -hmm. this task that you took on, mm -hmm. I think will mend uh, some of those mm -hmm. um, thoughts of, of where did I come from, yes. but also what is left behind in the diaspora. Right? So that's one of the things that I'm really 
concerned about. So mm -hmm. I cannot really wait to even dive in some more with you. Um, we're going to take a break again mm -hmm. and we're going to come on back. Um, we're going to talk about what may have surprised you or shocked you <laughs> and um, where, you, where you're going to go with this because I, I understand that you have a large following. And um, I think uh, people need to know, and of course, Caribbean Life TV is going to help you even expand that following a little bit more. So we're going to take a break and we're going to come on right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back, welcome back. Again, this is Sabrina Summer Kelly. I'm talking with Allison Rice. We're talking genealogy. And so, Allison, where we left off, um, we were talking about um, how, you know, how you've been doing this, how long you've been doing this. Let's yes. talk about back to St. Vincent with mom, uh, oh, or yes. dad, right? Dad. dad. Mom. 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 Yes. So, anything you found with that? with trace, oh. tracing anybody back there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. When I say St. Vincent is such a beautiful country, yes, yes, the yes. untouchable beauty that's there, mm -hmm. it's so amazing. Yeah. And when I landed there, it just felt so good. Mm -hmm. You know, this is where my mom was born. This is where yeah. my grandmother's from. This is yeah. where my great grandmother's from. Mm -hmm. This is where my great, great grandmother was from. You know, so yeah. just being there mm -hmm. and just knowing, oh my gosh, this is a part of my family history. Mm -hmm. It made me so happy. Yeah. Um, one of the biggest thing that stand out for me in St. Vincent was I when I got there the first thing that hit me because I was there with a friend mm -hmm. and I said I wanted to meet my family yeah. so we just told the taxi driver I said my grandmother has a brother here that lives in and I, I told him the town yeah. and we drove to that town and we searched for him mm -hmm. and then that day we found him mm. so he walked towards the van that I was sitting that I was sitting in and when he came into my sight I literally saw my grandmother's face mm. and I instantly fell in love with him yeah. you know to see a perfect stranger mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then to see you to yeah. see your family yeah. in that person's face yeah. Yeah. it's a feeling that wouldn't will never go away right, you know right. so that was my great uncle yeah. and I met my other great uncle so so that time the first time that I went I met my grandmother's brother mm -hmm. and then my grandfather's brother as well wow. so it was such a beautiful thing so let me ask you now mm -hmm. you know some of us even mom won't know all her relatives yes. and so on. Did you find out anything that oh, she yeah. probably did not oh, know? Oh yes, oh <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. I I went to the birth certificate uh, mm -hmm. registrar and yeah. um, one person that was there, she was very, very nice to me. She mm -hmm. was, um, I spoke to her, I told her, I said, look, I live in the United States, I'm here in St. Vincent and I yeah. want to learn more about my family and yeah. this is where my mom was from. And she really took the time to sit with me and I appreciate her so much. Yeah. She sat with me and she looked through all the birth records and mm -hmm. she found my mother's birth certificate which was easy mm -hmm. you know she found my grandmother's birth certificate then she found my great grandmother's birth record. certificate yes and then my great great grandmother and my mother did not know the name of her great great grandmother and you told so, her yes oh we found gosh. their marriage records yeah. uh, when they got married in the 1800s and uh. I got to I got to learn my great grandmother's siblings and mm. I was able to add so many different people to my family tree because yeah. of that one visit to St. Vincent so I'm forever grateful for that trip so did you talk to grandma about some of that? Well, this I, I discovered that after after, after she passed away. Oh. But mm -hmm. but yeah. before she passed away, because yeah. my grandmother she was much older, so she was yeah. afraid of airplanes. Yeah. So when I went to St. Vincent, um, she told me where her property was because she owned property in St. Mm -hmm. Vincent. So we went down to the land, and I picked up breadfruit from her tree, <laughs> right? Well, and, then, and then and yeah. then and then I got someone to cook it, and they baked it underground for her. Oh. And then there's something in St. Vincent called chichi cake, mm -hmm. right? It's these microscopic fishes that they catch uh, yeah. and they make like you know how we you know how in Trinidad and Guyana you have fish cake yeah. they have chichi cake and uh, it's with it's it's that same type yeah. of taste but it's with these it's whole it's like whole fish, fish. but uh, it's microscopic yeah. so they made the chichi cake and they got it made from me and I wrapped it up and and um, raw peanuts and everything from yeah. the land and all of that wow. and so when I flew back to New York I gave it to my grandmother and I just I just stood there and I just watched her eat everything and mm. she was just so happy wow. you know to yeah. eat things from her land, land. you know yeah. even though she was afraid of planes and she yeah. wasn't going yeah, bro, I felt yeah. glad when I was able to bring, bring back, back something mm. for her so oh wow. my gosh that's 
that gives me chills as I'm listening to you. <laughs> because yeah. again, honey, that's a whole other set of family yes. that you just came in contact mm -hmm. with. And you know what's even good about things like that? When you do embark on that, mm -hmm. on that, somebody will tell you something that probably the family never knew. Yeah. Well, did you know your grandfather was this or your mm -hmm. great grandmother was that? Yeah. Somebody of importance, of influence mm -hmm. in those small villages, you oh, know? Yeah. So, I mean, just that alone, just to mm -hmm. hear that. I mean, you thought yes. you knew everything in Trinidad, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you're in St. Vincent and there's a whole other world mm -hmm. there and people who know, and then of course, family name is key, right? So yes. when you say a name, oh, I know so-and-so, you know, yes. that they're ready to <laughs> tell you. And then the thing about us too, you know, as Caribbeans, we embrace, right? Mm -hmm. So we're happy to know, I know your grandfather, I know yes. your grandmother. You know, <laughs> you love to hear that, tell me more. So, mm -hmm. and, and they're probably, I'm sure, were welcoming of you. Very. Um, and what you were doing also on the mm -hmm. island. And so, so let's talk about something else that might have either shocked or surprised you in this mm -hmm. journey and this search. Anything you can think of? Wow, well, uh, the former Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Patrick mm -hmm. Manning, he's mm -hmm. a cousin of mine. Mm -hmm. So I Look believe, at that. Yes. Because so, you're talking lineage, right? Yes. Influence yes. as well. Yes. Global influence. Yes. Wow. I also have a cousin in St. Vincent who was knighted by the Queen. So he's a <laughs> sir, you know, and so that's another thing that I found out and um, I was able to pull up that information in, in an old newspaper right. where he did get his rights from, from the Queen and there were so many things. Now what is that process like if for the people who don't know what knighted by the Queen means? <laughs> Do you know? Do you it's a big deal. Yeah. It's a big deal. So wow. he was a police officer in St. Vincent and I for see. his work in the police force I and see. you know making sure that the island was safe. And you know St. Vincent was owned by yeah. by England for a very wow. long time. Yes. So most yes. of us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I wasn't I was not surprised by that. But wow. there were so many people that mm -hmm. came before me that did remarkable things. Mm -hmm. And to to watch these immigrants and when i say immigrants i mean as in they made the decision to move mm -hmm. for example my mother's side migrated from trinidad yeah. i mean from st vincent, vincent mm -hmm. and my father's side migrated from barbados mm -hmm. and for them to migrate to trinidad mm -hmm. and work hard yeah. and own property and to yeah. this day still have possessions to pass on to my generation mm -hmm. it makes me so proud let me ask you as mm -hmm. we're talking migration mm -hmm. um this uh, the mother side. Mm -hmm. did, did they say why they moved to Trinidad? Well, at that time, Trinidad was more economically friendly. That's what I thought friendly. you'd say. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then also, I did learn from doing my DNA testing mm -hmm. and reading the history of the Caribbean, right. I did learn that after slavery, mm -hmm. a lot of laws were made mm -hmm. to make it difficult for um, former enslaved folks to own property. Yes. So a yes. lot of people found it a lot easier mm -hmm. to find work in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them, they migrated to Trinidad or they went to Panama to work on the you know, Panama Panama Canal, Canal, different things like that. And so, you see the correlation with yeah. all of this? Yes. I mean, it all, yes. this is all about picking up after slavery because yes. people have the, the notion that uh, because we were free, mm -hmm. we were free to do things. No, yes. we were not. It no. was very much more difficult mm -hmm. and having to find a place that would welcome you, much yes. less settle there yes. and start your family there. Mm -hmm. So yes, there were some uh, allies, if you will, uh, countries and islands mm -hmm. that would welcome some of those people. And this yes. is how we end up where we ended up. Mm -hmm. You know, look at me, I ended up in Guyana and then yeah. I've got East Indian, I've got Beijing. And so mm -hmm. I, I, as I'm listening to you, mm -hmm. I, I, you're now seeing and the pieces and where genealogy must be known yes. and it comes into play because it, it goes way back and mm -hmm. this can go back with even things as we're doing as adults we, we have children that are uh, part of us and their children they need to know exactly it didn't start in America yeah it started you know <laughs> way back when and this was the cause and the effect of what we're suffering from some of us still as we know mm -hmm. uh, mentally economically I'll just say it oh yeah and just to know that you came from something yeah you stood for your 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 ancestors mm -hmm. and they have you have to pay homage let's yes. just say yes. but to know what they have gone through mm -hmm. the sacrifices they've made and so to you to benefit yes even as we're here in America we're still dealing with this stuff yes but to know that you came from that mm -hmm. don't disrespect the legacy don't disrespect what these people have gone through mm -hmm. so I think with what you're doing Allison it's it's amazing but more so it will be a sense of somewhat of a closure yes. but at least you're putting face with population location and all of these things that go together as it relates to genealogy yes. and lineage and to know that listen as we always say you know you come to America don't 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 disrespect 
the lineage make us proud yes but to know that you came from that already yes. there's no reason for failure mm -hmm. there's only reason to continue on elevate and be successful Definitely. and embrace mm -hmm. what your ancestors gave you yes. right and as we always say continue to make them proud mm -hmm. to make them proud so we're gonna take one last break and we're gonna come back and We'll tell the audience uh, where they can find you mm -hmm. and how they can stay in touch with you, connect with you, because uh, utilizing a media platform such as this, you know that others will be reaching out. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, we're going to talk some more about that. So okay. we'll take our last break and we'll come on back and wrap up with Miss Allison Rice. Welcome back, everyone. I'm still talking with Allison Rice as we're discussing genealogy. So, Allison, we're going to uh, wrap up this segment with you. It's been fascinating talking to you. Thank you. It's been inspiring. So, let me say, who will be inspired by what you're saying? Oh wow! I want I want Caribbean folks, mm -hmm. um, Caribbean folks, especially here living in the United States. Yes. I want to inspire them to look up their own family history. Yes. Yes. It's so important. Yes. It's yes. so very important to know where you come from yes. and the stories of the folks that have survived, yeah. so that you can be here today. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's. I've learned so much yeah. in this journey and it's been 10 years but it didn't feel like 10 years mm -hmm. because it just happened so quick yeah. and the stories that I have I can pass them on mm -hmm. to other family members. Yes. I have all the family members that I share the stories with and they're fascinated to learn. Yeah. You know, So it's a remarkable thing. Well, you know, even as you talk about pride, mm -hmm. listen, I don't know about you but in my car you will know I'm a Guyanese, okay? <laughs> One of the things and even my American friends and colleagues mm -hmm. will say, why you all always got that flag in the the car oh. right you can yes. relate right yes. well it's because we never forget where we come from of course we know we're here mm -hmm. but that flag is always a reminder but yes. we know that's not even where we're from yes we know that there's something deeper than that farther than that mm -hmm. which comes back to genealogy and tracing where your where your folks are from yes right so I just that alone mm -hmm. should give them pride but to know exactly where you come from mm -hmm. and be honored to know what you're a part of yes. so what do we have coming up next with you oh. Oh man, well, I am going to experience carnival. Ah! So I am jumping all the way in. Wow. So I'm jumping with Trini Revelers and right. I'm going to be having So you're amazing. masking girl. Yes. <laughs> yes. That right. is everything. So let me ask so. you, so you've been in the States, so you yes. had not gone back? Well, I have been, but I've never participated never in carnival. Participated, and right. since I was small, yeah. since I was small, well, as in around like high school, yeah. every time carnival passed around, I yeah. would be sitting there in class, literally, and I would feel, I would feel the beat inside yeah. of me. I would feel the music inside of me. Yeah. And every year I would say, you know, I wish I was there. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish I was there. So mm -hmm. I just made it. I said, you know what? To celebrate this 10 years yes. of studying my family's history, mm -hmm. let me celebrate in a huge way yeah. and participate in, in this, in carnival. It's yeah. a part of our history, Absolutely. you know, back in the 1800s, this was banned, yeah. you know, we were yeah. banned from being able to celebrate in the streets and for doing all of this and the African drums and the rhythm yeah. sections, all that was banned, you know, wow. so for us to have this freedom mm -hmm. to express ourselves, to have yes. fun, to dance and yeah. jump and play and chip, all of all that is just to celebrate, yeah. you know, for example, like mm -hmm. Jab Jab, you know, when you, the, when you look up the history of Jab Jab mm -hmm. and, you know, they covered it, well, it's Jab Molassi, but mm -hmm. we call it Jab Jab because of you know the the recent music yeah. but when you see them covered in black you're thinking okay what are they doing yeah but this is to represent the spirit of a slave that passed yes. you know who worked in the molasses plantation you know mm -hmm. and he was a lucky devil because mm -hmm. of course death was so much yes. better than being in bondage yeah you know yes. and um, a lot of people say that the lifespan for someone in the Caribbean a slave someone mm -hmm. who was enslaved in the Caribbean was seven years mm -hmm. so you know when you step on those shores yeah. chances are you might have yeah. seven years to live yeah. you know so when you see Jab Jab covered in all black and mm -hmm. they're going down the streets and they're disturbing the peace yeah. they're supposed to disturb the peace because you know regular society was going on slavery yeah. was legal yeah. you know at the time so we do this to just disturb the peace because slavery was not right see I didn't know what that was I see it but I 
thought he just put something on him just for no. fun. No. And now you, you told me what that meant. You see, because mm -hmm. we're seeing all of this carnival is coming up. We're going to see yes. folks posting me. Social media, of course, is yes. very prevalent mm -hmm. and everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know what that meant. Mm -hmm. So now you explain that. There's a reason for all of it. There's oh a method gosh. to the madness. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And again, we know if you look at most of the flags of mm -hmm. those countries, the black is always in there. And yes. that is for the struggle. Yes. The red, obviously, is for the shedding of the blood. Yes. And um, so we all have that in common. Even yes. the, the countries in the diaspora, mm -hmm. they all mean the same thing. Yes. And thank God for uh, emancipation mm -hmm. and all of those things. But we still cannot forget. Yes. You know, as we, we start 2019, one of the things I, I smile because I said that's not that long ago when mm -hmm. I see countries says this is the 40th anniversary of our republic. And if you notice them, they have a pattern. 45, 43. Yes. That's not that long ago. Mm -hmm. I'm in my 40s, right? Mm -hmm. So it lets you know it wasn't that long ago when we mm -hmm. just got something called independence. Mm -hmm. You understand yes. how significant that is? Mm -hmm. And as you relate it to genealogy and where we all are from, Mm -hmm. That is so something that must be told, must be known. And um, I am just so excited about what you're doing because this platform mm -hmm. is going to expand more uh, as we talk about how folks can reach you, mm -hmm. but more about the process. Yes. Because I don't think sometimes when we hear this platform is out here to help search that we think we will find our authentic folk. Yeah. But I believe what you're telling me, we will. Mm -hmm. Even with hearing your story, Allison, and knowing that you know, you're know you going to have your client. Well, I'm going to get ready to be a client, and you're going to show me how mm -hmm. to do that. Because of mm -hmm. my journey and being a speaker and a global person, I want to know as I'm traveling. Yes. You know? So tell us uh, again how we uh, can find you. Okay. And, uh, and of course, you'll give us your, uh, your information in terms of social media mm -hmm. and maybe how they can reach you directly to start that process okay yes okay well on Facebook uh, you can find me in the Caribbean genealogy okay. and heritage resource center okay. so when you look that up you'll be able to find the page and you're gonna get all the details yes. wow. you're gonna get so many content mm -hmm. from Trinidad so many content just covering carnival and mm -hmm. the history behind it so it's yeah. gonna be amazing yeah. so Instagram and Twitter is mm -hmm. also Carib resource of mm -hmm. course which is short yeah uh, which is short for, for the full name yeah and then also patreon is gonna going to give you some really good mm -hmm. details of my family history. Yeah. So within Patreon, you just look for my name, Allison Rice. Mm -hmm. So it's A-L-I-S-O-N-R-Y-C-E, okay. which is a whole other story as yeah. to why my last name is spelled R-Y-C-E. -E. Yes. Right. So and YouTube as well, mm -hmm. um, Allison Rice. So you're going to see the beginnings of when I started with DNA testing and mm -hmm. I've interviewed a lot of family members there yeah. and the journey in finding my ancestors. It's all there on Patreon step by step. Wow. So so yeah, it's it's a real fun journey. Well, it's been such a one. You know, we have a beautiful day in, in Decatur here. It's been mm -hmm. such a joy talking to you. Thank you. Um, I, you know me, I do events here in Atlanta, so. Mm -hmm. You will be one person I definitely would want to come as a keynote spe speaker mm -hmm. because this is something that our folks, I think, should have access to, should mm -hmm. know who you are and know how you can help them mm -hmm. trace their background. So it's been such a joy Thank talking you. with you, talking with you, talking Thank with you, you today. <laughs> you've got me pumped up because now I'm like, I get to finally find out where I'm from. <laughs> you know, you've been living all your life and then you, you get to say that. Yes. And said exactly yes. where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I said, my grandma, I asked her some things, they couldn't tell me much, mm -hmm. but I know now with my name, because I do have a unique name, yes. um, I know that journey mm -hmm. will be will, will be fascinating to find I out. I want to share yes. one more thing. Yes, yes. I'm also going to Barbados. Oh. So from Trinidad, I'm heading to Barbados because yes. that's where my paternal great-grandparents are from. Yes. So I'm going to finally see the land where they lived and where they moved from Trinidad. My so gosh. I'll be doing research there too. Well, guess what? You're going to end up there for me too because my <laughs> great-grandmother is from Barbados. Mm -hmm. So and, and this is the thing. You can find it. We're like, we might be cousins. You yes. never know. Yes. And, and that's why it's so important to mm -hmm. know this Oh yeah. and, and to have this. Mm -hmm. and say we, we finally found those people that suffered yes. and what, what, what we are here for them and carrying their legacy yes. on. So definitely. Thank you, thank you. So You're welcome. Audience, you. there you have it. We had a great talk with Alison Rice. She spoke about genealogy, your lineage, 
where you come from, what you should be proud of. You know, Carnival is coming up, and as we know, we're all so proud, right? We're carrying the flag, but know what it stands for. Yeah. Know what you stand for, know where you come from, and more importantly, know that behind you, there was four folks before you who pretty much sacrificed life for you. Yeah. And so here we are talking about it. Allison can help you find that journey, find a great, great grandmother, a great, great grandfather, and know that you are here to carry on that legacy. So I love this platform because it is Caribbean life. We were talking to a young lady from Trinidad and Tobago. And Caribbean Live TV, you make sure you, you keep in touch with us because we can have your story told here just the same. Follow us, Caribbean Live TV Global, that's on YouTube, Caribbean Live TV on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, my name is Sabrina Sumra Kelly. I am your global connector. We just made a global connection here. And as always, everyone, live bold, and we'll see you in our next installment of Caribbean Live TV. Have an awesome day.